I for one think, if you're going to have a media center, why not do it in style? Today we're going to show off Media Browser, the Windows Media Center plugin. I could give you a demonstration of what everything looks like in Media Browser with its default settings. But honestly, where's the fun in that? So let's show you one of the custom themes that I like to use, which is called Vanilla. This is the Media Browser theme Vanilla that I like to use. If you notice on the top, you have movies, TVs, anime, games, and so on. These are categories. If you look below them, you see images or cover art of the specific content. This is a recent edition menu. It's basically showing the recent additions in that category that I've added. Let's actually go into one. Let's go into movies and uh, see what the uh, display looks like. Now that we're in movies, we can see that there are about 435 movies here total. Uh, these are all the cover arts for the movies. And if we actually go into one, uh, let's say X-Men, for example, we can see that it gives a full description of this movie. Uh, we can also see the cast and crew or that was involved in the movie and we can play the movie. But uh, we'll go back. We'll uh, let's uh, let's load up a documentary since it's not really copywritten to the extent that X Men is, a Zeitgeist, uh, and just play it for a second and see see how fast everything loads and and so on. Now, as you can see, we just received a pop-up from Media Control. Media Control is a plugin that lets you select audio and subtitle tracks. If you play a video and, it, and if it does have more than one audio or more than one subtitle track, Media Control is what's going to let you change between the subtitles and audio tracks. Now we fast forward through it because we don't want to show too much of this movie and uh, let's actually go over to the television section and show you how Media Browser handles seasonal content. Now in the television section we can see lots of TV shows. Most of these are some of my favorite by the way. Um, just like the movie section we have cover art, we have uh, backdrops, uh, full descriptions, but the difference on this is we have full descriptions per episode per season so every show has several seasons and inside those season folders there are the episodes everything works as you'd expect it to now media browser is a free program but its advanced features will cost you a little bit of money now, to get everything set up, you'd probably spend no more than $20. Uh, for example, the cover art feature and automatic downloading of cover art and artwork, that's a feature in Media Browser that you'd have to actually uh, pay for a program, uh, uh, an addition called cover art. I don't remember the exact price. It's probably no more than like $10. Uh, but it makes your life 10 times easier than it would be otherwise. Like I said, you can do it manually, but cover art is the way to go. So let me actually show you the actual folder layout of let's say a uh, Californication, Californication, uh, and show you what it looks like inside of a season folder. Season one, two, three, four, five, so on. Um, now we have these four files here. Backdrop, which as you can see is a background, a banner, and a folder. This is the cover art that you would normally see in the, uh, the TV display. And we have Series XML. Series XML is... Series XML is actually the information about the series. So, you know, there you go. Now let's go to Season 1. Now as you can see in Season 1, just like the last folder, we have the backdrop, we have folder, and we have episodes 1 through 12, named specifically in a way that Media Browser can understand. Californication-01x01.mkv. 01 means season 1, x is a separator, and 01 means episode 01. So we can see that this is Californication season 1, episode 1. And so on. Then we have inside the season 1 folder, we have metadata which has individual pictures for each episode. This could be episode 11, for example. And then we have individual XML files, 
which have descriptions about that specific episode. All this is translated into Media Browser to give you a beautiful experience. Now, like I said before, you could create this entire folder structure, all the files, everything manually, or you can just pay 10 bucks or so and get the plugin called Cover Art for Media Browser, which will do this for you. It'll save you a substantial amount of time. But that's just an example of what we're dealing with here and how it actually looks in its uh, raw form. Well, I hope you like what you've seen, and uh, this is just an example video of my specific media browser setup. There's many themes available and many different ways you can configure this program. Uh, but I'm going to end the video, and I'm going to show you what the uh, configuration settings look like within the program itself in the background, uh, so you can actually get an idea of what you have to work with. Alright, thanks for watching the video. If you have any ideas that you think would make a great video, please send us a message.